let us say now that you are a person who's uh, who's doing a lot of uh, uh, PowerPoint presentations, and one of the things with PowerPoint presentations is you got to sit down. Uh, despite the best ideas you have, you have to give them a shape. You have to put it in slides, and if those slides have to change, you have to go and redo it, uh, redo the slides. Then you have to take a portion of them, cut it down so that you can show it to higher level people in your organization. Um, and then if you're if you're in the sales uh, and marketing, if you're going to sell things to various clients, uh, you got to really make different presentations to suit their sentiments. So uh, here is a use case that I'm going to demonstrate. I hope you saw that recording that Nandan posted to his uh, LinkedIn post. So I'm not going to show you the same thing. What I'm trying to do here is, here is a use case. Let's talk about the education industry. I am an educator. I'm going to talk to a group of people about data science. And I need to make a presentation on data science, right? So I have borrowed some material. And you can see all these borrowed materials here that I've used to do my research. And I want to present to them this page in the form of a presentation. I want to talk about it. So what I have done is I've gone through this page. I have read through this. And I decided to make a presentation out of it. So I gathered my presentation ideas. And I said, you know what? This is how my presentation is going to look. I'm going to have 12 slides that are going to talk about. Each slide is going to talk about the top 12 data science projects. And I'm going to simply talk through them. There is no separate slide for text. And then I'm going to have another set of slides that are going to show, me, uh, show the audience, other than the top 12, um, there are other interesting projects that you can use to get uh, inspired. And I decided that, you know, 10 of them on a single slide is just too much. Maybe I'll make a couple of slides, um, you know, having five each. And then obviously, because I have used a lot of material for research, I must give due credit to the references uh, of my sources. And then I put those links out here and, and, and tell the audience that, hey, uh, you know, this research, uh, all the research I did for this presentation was from where from these sources. So th this is my presentation idea. You might not have the ability to make presentations or you simply don't have the time because your job function is much more intense than simply making presentations. So how do I convert this into a presentation? So what I do is I have downloaded all the images and uh, of each of these 12 science projects. I'm going to make 12 slides. I've also prepared an Excel document uh, that lists, makes a list of these top 12. And I'm going to put that as a table into my presentation. And I'm also going to talk about the last 10, um, the other 10 projects, uh, uh, data science projects. And then I'm going to conclude my presentation. So I have gathered all my, uh, that's where the presentation creator comes in. Uh, you have a folder on your laptop. It's called presentation creator. I have gathered all my presentation data in my data science project folder. I have gathered all my images. I've gathered my Excel. And what I do next is I decide what is the template that I'm going to use for this presentation. I have decided that I'm going to use a celestial template for my presentation because the celestial template is easy on the eyes. And I'll show you when uh, you can see it in action when the presentation is being developed right in front of you. And now I have to bring the template and I have to bring the content together and put it in a presentation planner. So I have a, a specifically made Excel document called a planner. And I have made a, a planner just for this data science project. So I'm going to open that up. And in this planner, every tab represents a slide in your presentation. Um, the title is a required slide. And it has to be always the first. And you have visual guides on each of these tabs that show you how to fill these out. So you don't need any special knowledge other than knowing how to, the basics of Excel and simply following the directions to type stuff in. For example, if I type a title in here, you see it's at position one. It shows the user where that title goes. If there is a subtitle, it shows the user where it goes. Similarly, you have the ability to insert images in a title and content slide. The title and content slide is probably the most versatile slide in, in presentations. You not only can insert text, you can insert files, you can insert images, and you can insert data from other Excel documents. So here you can see that I'm inserting an image, and all my images are stored in um, 
uh, uh, I'm inserting data here, sorry. So you can see I'm inserting data from this data science Excel. And I've told it which sheet it has to go to. Um, next, I'm filling in an image. I'm just pointing it to that image, giving it a title, and I'm resizing the image a little bit uh, so that I know that it is going to fit on the slide. So I prepare these slides uh, one at a time, each, sli each tab representing a slide. And uh, what I do is in the end, I want to talk about um, you know, the additional projects. So, so I prepare another slide here. Um, I'm having trouble clicking on my, yeah. Um, so here you can see that I have a title slide with bulleted lists on uh, the people, the sources that I want to thank. And I have listed out my 10 of the projects across two slides. Now I have prepared my presentation planner. So I have the template, I have the planner, and I have my content. Now I have to give all of these inputs to my Studio X automation. And uh, for those who are not familiar with Studio X, the interface between the human being and a Studio X automation is called a project notebook. So what I do is I open my project notebook for my automation. And what I do in there is I give the automation the presentation template that I want to use for this presentation. I give it my path where I, uh, you know, the, the planner that I have prepared just now. I tell the robot or tell the automation, please use this template and then use this planner and then generate a presentation at this location. And this is the name of my presentation. And optionally, if I want to save it as a PDF, please save it as a PDF and put the PDF in this, this location. It's very simple. Take your template, take your planner, put it at this location, give it a name, save it as a PDF if you want to, and give it the path of the PDF. So this is pretty much it that you have to get together to prepare your presentation. So at this point, you are ready to run your automation. So I'm going to close out my planner and I'm going to bring up my automation, um, UiPath path assistant. And my automation is already uh, uh, deployed. And what the automation does is two things. It first validates your planner. For example, if you have a title slide and you don't put in the title, it's going to stop and it's going to exit and it's going to ask you to correct the error because a title slide with no title doesn't make any sense. Instead of using a title slide with no title, you could use a blank slide. So you see, it makes these basic checks. And then the other thing it does is if you give it files, if you give it images, it makes sure that those images and files exist. If they don't exist, it stops. So it gives you these helpful messages to correct your problems. And once you're done, it will generate the presentation. So in this case, I have made sure that there are no errors. So I'm going to simply run the, uh, the automation. So when I run the automation, you will see two things happen. The first thing is the planner is being validated. The second, once the planner is validated, uh, the presentation is generated and saved as a PDF. So with that, I'm going to hit uh, run. So you can see it is validating each tab in your um, in your planner. It's checking to make sure everything is right. And if there are no validation errors, it opens the template that you asked it to open and now starts building out the presentation. It is inserting the data from the Excel and then starts inserting your 12 images for your 12 data science projects. And this presentation has about 19 slides. Yep, 
about 20. Okay. So 20. And now it is saving this as a PDF because I've opted to save it as a PDF. Mm -hmm. And once it's done, it publishes it. Everything is shut down. It's successfully completed. Generating the PowerPoint. So you saw about 20 slides were generated within a minute uh, with validation. So I'm going to go to my, my presentations and you can see this is the time now. You have the PDF and you have the PowerPoint. I'm going to open that up. So as a human user, uh, you have to make some minor changes. I'm working on making this better. For example, you see this data is too large for this uh, for this slide. So what I do is I go in here and I say, um, I select one tab, um, oh, come on. Why are these things? So control A and I, I reduce the font. There it is, my table is set. You see my images, I know that I have to um, space them a little bit. So I make these little adjustments and then finally, you can see that it has generated every image. And then in the end, it has added a section slide and that is going to tell the audience, look, that's not all. There are other projects. And then it has distributed, created two bulleted slides uh, to talk through the other two, uh, you know, the other 10 interesting projects. And finally, it inserts a blank slide. And then if you want to take the Excel document with you, uh, in case you want it at a later date, you have the ability to embed that file into this uh, slide so that you can take it with you. And you can see that it has completely generated the presentation for you to simply fine tune, and then it is ready to present within a few minutes. <clears throat> 